Okay, so basically the unit, the features of the unit, let's say I already have described. One of the other features of the unit is basically that uh, depending on which Windsor unit you have, the new one has a door on the front, the old has the door on the back. Now, if you have a door on the back, it's always difficult to open it when it sits in a parking position at a, at a cupboard. And why you want to look inside? You want to look inside to see how full is your back before you take the unit out and to travel around it. Here in this case, you just can open it without anything hanging in your way. You can see, okay, yes, I'm still fine to do my job and then I can, I can continue. This back is what we call the top fill back. So I'm starting to fill it from here, so I really can fill it down, let's say, so I really can take 100% of the capacity of my back. Plus, I'm deflecting, so if I would have needles and pins, let's say, they don't shoot through the back because they are catched in this deflection situation. If you now want to try to close the door, you can't. Why not? Because the unit has what we call a finger, a paperback finger. And this prevents you of closing the door. The problem with machines are that people don't know how to use machines. That's valid in America, that's valid in Europe, that's valid in China and all those people. Now, what we're trying to do is to give systems that we are protecting the thing for misuse or abuse of machines. Now, one of the things which you don't want in uprights is that they are going to start to vacuum without backs. Because if they do that, the motor is sitting here. So immediately, whatever comes into it, it wants to go into the motor. In this case, it will not go directly into the motor, but still you don't want to have this kind of, because these units are difficult to clean out again. So that's why we make a system that you cannot close the door without having a back in, inside. That's this finger is doing that for you. Okay, so this is the back situation, motor situation with, with the unit. Now, if I do this, where would the unit want to go? The unit wants to go, not falling backwards, but the unit wants to go moving forward. If you do this as a test with the unit, you can see if there is enough center balance on the floor where you need to have it. Because where you want to have the weight? You want to have the weight on the carpet. You don't want to have the weight in the back. Number one, you don't want to have the tip over. And number two, you just want to have it working for you. So that means that with the friction on your carpet, the unit wants to lift. Now, so we have given it what we call central weight into the front of the unit. How we have done that? We have done that by making one solid piece of steel going through the brush wall. That's where the center of your working is. There is a solid metal piece into it. And then we have two sealed ball bearings at the side. So that reduces the vibration and it gives you the maximum load onto your floor. Now, a detachable cord has a lot of advantage, but also has a disadvantage. The disadvantage is that the machine, which how it comes, let's say, we are dependent and on the mercy if people are locking the cable in. Because if you don't lock the cable in, you get what we call arcing. So that the disconnector can move into the socket. You don't want that. Because there is always, again, there is not the ideal thing. You have to give up some things to gain something. We are gaining low maintenance costs. We are gaining easy service of the unit. We are gaining that you know it's a quarter related problem. But, let's say, we have to teach the customer that this is an important feature, that the cord hook is locked in. Otherwise, you get this kind of movement, which we don't want to have in that, uh, in that, uh, in that clip. Operating the unit. It's just basically like this. What will now be happening is that we have a brush roll moving and a vac motor. You have the green light now over there, green light over there. This is what we call the position how to, uh, to work. You see the red light blinking. This means that there is not enough friction. Red line breaking is not enough friction. So there can be two reasons. Wrong height for wrong carpet, or the strip is gone. Not enough contact to the floor. 
So you are warned that the people are vacuum, but they are not really vacuum because with an upright you really want to brush the carpet. If the brush strip is gone, how you know that? Who is going to tell you that? Nobody. That light is going to tell you that. Blinking light means something is not, not okay. So that's, that's the sensing of the friction to, uh, to the floor. So for the rest, let's say, again, the unit, the unit is constructed as a modular unit, modular replacement unit. Because I'm saying already the court is number 70 to 80 percent of the issues. But there can be other issues with the unit. So this unit you can separate by turning these two screws without screwdrivers. Because there are some countries, if as soon as you need to have what we call tools, there are a requirement that you have to call somebody. You don't want that because the bill goes up. So you don't want to call anybody. If you can do it yourself, you do it yourself or you instruct your customers that they are able to do it themselves. So you can do this by hand. You can remove, so it means that you can take an upper body and you can take the lower body, let's say. We call this a rabbit model replacement system. So you have basically a box with a brush unit, you have a box with a vacuum unit, you have a box with a handle, and you have a box with a hose, and you have a box with a wand. That's it. That's number one of the spares with this unit. You just swap them with customers. You're using logistical services to do the job. You don't do the driving because driving can take a lot of time, let's say, and cost a lot of money. You use other people to do the driving. They're called FedEx, DHL, all these kind of people. They do the driving for you. You are having modular replacement systems. It's boxed and we call this a kit, a rapid replacement kit. It has a label, has a picture on it, and you just send it out. Let's say that's it. And you let other people do the job. There is no technical thing needed if you talk about rapid replacement systems. Only when you start to open things up and you have screws, then some people, oh, where's this screw coming from? Where's that wire coming from? So you want to leave that moment as long away as possible. I'm not saying that you can leave it away all the time, because then I would be lying. But you can keep it away a long, long, long time by the court, rapid replacement, and then the rest of the systems, rapid replacement. And that's basically how you can give this unit a very low maintenance and operating cost to your uh, customer. The best way of comparing weight is this, what we call handle weight. Now, people talking about product weight, uh, not a lot of people are talking about handle weight, but there is only one good measurement. It's handle weight and handle weight with a 50% filled paper bag. Uh, we, we all know the story about the Auric Lightweight, eight pounds. It's a very nice story if the unit is empty. Very nice story. But do you want to have an empty unit? I don't, because I buy a unit to clean. So I buy a unit to fill the paper bag. If you do the same, what we call finger test with, a, with an auric unit, 50% filled, 70% filled, 90% filled. Take a scale, hang it down, and take the weight. You will be amazed. What percentage you still have left over? You think of the gain of starting with eight pounds or starting with, I think this is in pounds around uh, what it is, uh, 20. What, what, what is the guess? 24 pounds filled up. This unit, yeah, it depends a little bit on the, on the dirt. Let's say you, you are gaining around, let's say, uh, 6 pounds to 7 pounds in, 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 in dirt, but it doesn't translate to the increase of the handle weight. Handle weight is only increasing, let's say, with 10%. No kidding. No kidding. If you do the same with an auric, you get the whole weight in your hand. The whole weight, because there is no weight in the handle. Exactly. It's, it's a textile bag. But this textile bag is going to go out of the window because now the weight is coming in. What is that called? It's dirt. That comes in. So it's a psychological game. People say lightweight. And people are judging lightweight by this. Oh, heavy. Oh, lightweight. <laughs> but we say, oh, 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 oh stop. Weight <laughs> handle weight is the key. Unless That's what we're talking about. Unless, Unless you're carrying upstairs. But how many commercial buildings you need to carry upstairs? Correct. People are not doing that. People are lazy. Come on, they are not carrying things up the stairs, let's say. They are just taking an elevator. Even if they wait 10 minutes, they are going to do that. Now, that's why wheeling of units is important. Try to wheel an auric. Try to wheel an auric. You don't. You have to carry that thing, including the dirt into the bag. So what is now the lightweight? Lightweight is gone. Forget about it.